Hey everybody, if you have a master MH-80-OFI 80,000 BTU kerosene slash diesel heater or any other kind of diesel heater, um, this video might help you uh, determine what was wrong with it. So I fired it up earlier this year and it ran and then it sat for a while and I put some kerosene in it and filled it up and it would just would not run it would start for and run five seconds and shut off so I thought maybe well I took off the, the front here this is four screws and I took off the inside here's another four screws and I looked in and when I turned it on you could see the sparker running that's down inside here and I and you can see the uh, the gas was not uh, the fuel wasn't spurt, spurting out spraying out so I'm like, oh, that's a quick fix. I got a plug nozzle. So I went down to the local furnace uh, gas supply house and, and bought a nozzle for it, put it in, and turned it on, and it fired up, but it only run for five seconds and shut off. You flip reset it, five seconds, shut off, five seconds, shut off. So I did some more in online investigating on YouTube and found out it could be the photo cell which is this piece right here this is the photo cell and it looks like there's some lines in there and basically you can unplug it on the other end uh, follow just follow the wires down and plug it down the other end and you can stick your uh, ohms tester on it and by just uh, holding it out to light and blocking the light like this, you can see the ohms meter uh, move. And uh, it was enough of a spread that it, that, that it, for whatever reason, should work. So I put this all back together nice and neat. I fired it up and it ran. And it ran great. And so as I was taking this, putting the cover back on it as it was running, it just shut, it shut off again. And so I said, well, maybe I have a short in one of these wires. And so I spent a considerable amount of time looking at each wire and, and running around. And I thought maybe the photo cell wasn't quite plugged back in correctly. And I determined that, uh, well, it's, it's getting fuel. And it's just, just something's going on with this photo cell. So I ended up just pulling it out. And it was enough light in the garage here that when I, I just... I figured, well, I'll just block it like this. I'll start it. And then once I hear it running, I'll unplug it. And the thing ran beautiful. I'm like, oh, this is great. So then I, when I put it back in, there wasn't enough light coming out of the hole right here. Uh, checking in at the, the burn chamber. Uh, the, the It killed the unit again, shut off, and it just ran the fan on. So... I grabbed the little, my little flashlight, and it's uh, it can easily fit in this hole. And I and I uh, just I t I turned it on, and once it turned on, I turned on my flashlight, and I just let it sit like this, and it just ran and ran and ran for 20 minutes. I'm like, okay, I get a dead photo cell. Um, so I can easily demonstrate this. Uh, that's why this this light is here. And this is what this is normally if you have this sound, and this is what the photo cell. So it's turning on, initializing the fan. That's the spark. It fired up. And you can see right there in the top. There's a, uh, and then it then it quits. And you can reset it quick like this. There's a switch. I should turn it off, turn it back on. Fans on. You can hear the spark. The fuel kicks on. You can see right there the gauge. You can see the light up on the top. You can see the, and it stops. The fuel kicks off. So, turn this light back on. Now I'm driving a lot of light down into this hole. And I'll reset it. The 
fires up. See, this is how I tested it before. I'll reset the switch. Walk the light out of it. Fires up. I'll give it the light. And I'll stay running. As soon as you cover this with a finger, it shuts off again. So I got a bad photo uh, photo cell. You go on eBay, uh, you can find them for 10, 12 bucks plus shipping, $3. But uh, I hope this helps.